How to market your business startup. Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this video we will share tips and tricks on how to grow your business. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to market your business startup. Marketing is one of the most important aspects of running a successful business, but it can also be one of the most challenging and expensive. How do you get your product or service in front of the right people, without breaking the bank? Well, don't worry, because we have some proven strategies that will help you market your business startup effectively and affordably. These are the same strategies that we use to grow our own business from scratch, and they can work for any type of business, whether it's online or offline, B2B or B2C, product or service. So, let's get started. The first strategy is to define your target audience. This is the most crucial step in any marketing plan, because if you don't know who you're trying to reach, you'll end up wasting time and money on the wrong people. You need to have a clear idea of who your ideal customer is, what their pain points are, what their goals are, and how your product or service can help them. To define your target audience, you can use tools like surveys, interviews, social media analytics, and online research. You can also create buyer personas, which are fictional representations of your ideal customers, based on their demographics, psychographics, behaviors, and needs. By creating buyer personas, you can better understand your customers and tailor your marketing messages to them. The second strategy is to create a unique value proposition. This is a statement that summarizes what makes your product or service different from your competitors, and why your customers should choose you over them. Your value proposition should be clear, concise, and compelling. It should answer the question, what's in it for me? To create a unique value proposition, you need to identify your key benefits, your target audience, and your competitive advantage. For example, a value proposition for a pizza delivery service could be, we deliver fresh and delicious pizza in 30 minutes or less, or it's free. This value proposition communicates the benefits, fresh and delicious pizza, the target audience, people who want fast delivery, and the competitive advantage, 30 minutes or less guarantee. The third strategy is to build an online presence. In today's digital world, having an online presence is essential for any business startup. It helps you reach more potential customers, build trust and credibility, and showcase your products or services. There are many ways to build an online presence, but some of the most effective ones are creating a website. A website is your online home base, where you can provide information about your business, showcase your products or services, collect leads, and generate sales. You can use platforms like WordPress or Shopify to create a professional-looking website without coding. Creating a blog. A blog is a great way to share valuable content with your audience, establish yourself as an authority in your niche, drive traffic to your website, and improve your SEO ranking. You can use platforms like Medium or Blogger to start a blog for free. Creating social media profiles. Social media is a powerful tool to connect with your audience, build relationships, increase brand awareness, and drive traffic to your website. You can use platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, etc. Depending on where your audience hangs out. Creating an email list. Email marketing is one of the most effective ways to communicate with your audience directly, deliver value, promote your products or services, and generate sales. You can use platforms like MailChimp or ConvertKit to build an email list and send newsletters. The fourth strategy is to leverage word of mouth marketing. Word of mouth marketing is when people talk about your product or service with their friends, family, colleagues, or online communities. It's one of the most powerful forms of marketing because it's based on trust and social proof. People are more likely to buy from someone they know or trust than from a stranger. To leverage word of mouth marketing, you need to deliver an exceptional customer experience. The best way to get people to talk about you is to make them happy. You need to provide a high quality product or service that solves their problem or fulfills their desire. You also need to provide excellent customer service that exceeds their expectations. Encourage referrals. Referrals are when you ask your existing customers to recommend you to their network. You can incentivize referrals by offering discounts, freebies, or rewards for both the referrer and the referee. You can also use platforms like Referral Candy or Viral Loops to create referral programs. Collect testimonials and reviews. 
Testimonials and reviews are when you ask your customers to share their feedback or opinion about your product or service. You can use these testimonials and reviews to showcase your social proof on your website, social media, or marketing materials. You can also use platforms like Trustpilot or Yelp to collect and display testimonials and reviews. Collaborate with influencers. Influencers are people who have a large and engaged following on social media or other platforms. They can help you reach a wider audience, increase your brand awareness, and drive traffic to your website. You can collaborate with influencers by offering them free products, discounts, commissions, or other benefits in exchange for promoting your product or service. The fifth strategy is to test and optimize your marketing campaigns. Marketing is not a one-time thing, but an ongoing process of trial and error. You need to constantly monitor, measure, and analyze your marketing campaigns to see what works and what doesn't. You also need to experiment with different strategies, channels, messages, and audiences to find the best fit for your business. To test and optimize your marketing campaigns, you need to set SMART goals. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. You need to set SMART goals for your marketing campaigns, such as increasing website traffic by 20% in three months, or generating 100 leads in two weeks. Track key metrics. Key metrics are the numbers that indicate how well your marketing campaigns are performing, such as impressions, clicks, conversions, revenue, etc. You need to track these metrics using tools like Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel. Conduct A, B tests. A, B tests are when you compare two versions of the same marketing element, such as a headline, a call to action, or an image, to see which one performs better. You can use tools like Optimizely or Google Optimize to conduct A, B tests. Implement feedback. Feedback is the input or opinion of your customers or prospects about your product or service. You need to collect feedback using tools like SurveyMonkey or Typeform and implement it to improve your product or service. And that's it. These are the five strategies that will help you market your business startup effectively and affordably. If you follow these strategies, you'll be able to attract more customers, generate more sales, and grow your business faster. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Also check out my ebooks, and other training resources on entrepreneurships and business startups, in the descriptions below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. In summary, if you want to grow your business startup, you need to have a solid marketing plan. In this video, you'll learn four proven strategies that will help you market your business startup effectively and affordably. The first strategy is to define your target audience, which is the group of people who are most likely to buy your product or service. You need to know their pain points, goals, and needs, and how you can help them. You can use tools like surveys, interviews, social media analytics, and online research to define your target audience. You can also create buyer personas, which are fictional representations of your ideal customers. The second strategy is to create a unique value proposition, which is a statement that summarizes what makes your product or service different from your competitors, and why your customers should choose you over them. Your value proposition should be clear, concise, and compelling. It should answer the question, what's in it for me? You need to identify your key benefits, your target audience, and your competitive advantage. The third strategy is to build an online presence, which is essential for any business startup in today's digital world. It helps you reach more potential customers, build trust and credibility, and showcase your products or services. There are many ways to build an online presence, but some of the most effective ones are creating a website, creating a blog, creating social media profiles, and creating an email list. The fourth strategy is to leverage word-of-mouth marketing, which is one of the most powerful and cost-effective ways to market your business startup. It involves getting people to talk about your product or service with their friends, family, colleagues, or online communities. There are many ways to leverage word-of-mouth marketing, but some of the most effective ones are offering something for free, joining online communities, running a giveaway or contest, and collaborating with influencers. By following these strategies, you'll be able to market your business startup effectively and affordably. Watch this video now to learn more.